from Sunday, we head to Chicago for Unforgiven, but tonight in New Jersey, it is the WWE Champion Seth Rollins going one-on-one -on -one with the brawling Brutes Bruiserweight Butch, one-on-one -on -one in the main event. We are live tonight from Monday Night Raw from the Prudential Center on the road to Unforgiven, one week from Sunday, and for the first time since SummerSlam, the almighty Bobby Lashley is live and is in action. Making his way to the ring from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Of course, the Raw exclusive event, Unforgiven, coming your way Sunday night, September the 17th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. We're heading to the Allstate Arena in Chicago, Illinois. And will the almighty Bobby Lashley be making his way to Unforgiven? That remains to be seen. But for the first time since SummerSlam, Lashley is back in action here on Monday Night Raw. Of course, Lashley coming up short in his pursuit of the WWE Championship. Just a few weeks back in Levi Stadium, that fatal four-way matchup along with Karrion Cross, John Cena, and Matt Riddle which of course none of those four men ended up walking out of San Francisco with the WWE title. That was the man who cashed in his Money in the Bank briefcase in Seth freaking Rollins. We will see Rollins in your main event tonight against the Bruiserweight Butch, but right now we're kicking things off on Raw with the almighty Bobby Lashley versus one of the superstars of tomorrow, a former NXT champion who has been making waves here on the red brand all summer long. Carmelo Hayes, one on one for the first time ever. And his opponent from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes. Well, as we just stated, Carmelo Hayes has been making waves on Monday Night Raw ever since he was recruited by Montel Vontavious Porter several months ago. We recently saw Trick Williams alongside Carmelo as well, and outside of one loss, Carmelo Hayes has been all but successful, or I should say all but failing here on Monday Night Raw. We have seen him in victories against Angelo Dawkins, Montez Ford, Rick Boogs, Madcap Moss. The only L in the column, if you will, of Carmelo Hayes came in the lead up to SummerSlam when he had a chance to become the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. He was defeated by Cedric Alexander. But tonight, Carmelo Hayes, dare I say, the biggest match of his main roster career just yet, as he goes one-on-one -on -one with a former WWE champion and the almighty Bobby Lashley. First time ever meeting to kick things off tonight in Newark. This is gonna be a good one on the road to Unforgiven. A very interesting situation here as well as Bobby Lashley just at ringside as his former manager, Montel Vontavious Porter, and you remember all the way back, this, this past January at the Elimination Chamber event, Bobby Lashley kicked MVP to the side after he was tired of MVP sticking his nose in his business. Lashley ordered him away from the ring. We didn't see MVP for months until he jumped ship to Monday Night Raw and brought Carmelo Hayes with him. It's a very interesting situation at hand tonight. But so far since the opening bell, the almighty Bobby Lashley out to make a statement, and he's looking good so far. I'm sure after coming up short to win the WWE Championship at SummerSlam, Bobby Lashley is motivated as all hell to get the victory tonight. And the last time we saw Lashley in action here on Monday Night Raw was three weeks ago in Las Vegas, Nevada, where he defeated the franchise player John Cena in an oh-so-epic main event. Gotta wonder what is next for Bobby Lashley, but also what is gonna be next for the superstar of tomorrow, a man who certainly has the it factor in Carmelo Hayes. As he takes Bobby Lashley out of ringside, sending him in to the barricade there. And Carmelo Hayes, if he can get the upset victory tonight, that is certainly going to propel him to the next level here on Monday Night Raw. So far, starting to get back into this matchup, but will he be able to keep Bobby Lashley down for a three count at some point? But he certainly knows how to knock Bobby Lashley down. Beautiful float over DDT. But Bobby Lashley now ragdolling the opponent to the outside. Carmelo off the counter. And now Melo heading to the top. But nobody home. 
And the bigger, stronger Bobby Lashley coming from behind, muscling up. A man who is a former NXT champion, former North American champion, former Cruiserweight champion, and Carmelo Hayes. Lashley just with a mean right, right to the jawline of Carmelo. Lashley wants his hand raised in victory tonight. Especially after that loss at SummerSlam, Lashley not looking to get come up short. Carmelo Hayes with different plans in mind. He sees the opportunity at hand tonight against the superstar of the caliber of Bobby Lashley. Future Hall of Famer, no doubt about it. And back and forth, this has been a slugfest since the opening bell. Both these men coming out swinging tonight as Melo goes back to the well with what works with that float over DDT. And now Lashley trying to create some distance. It's Carmelo Hayes, smart. He's gonna stay on the offense here. Slingshot, DDT on the apron. Down goes Bobby Lashley in the opening moments of this matchup. Carmelo Hayes came to play tonight. Not looking to see this opportunity slip through his hands and a springboard crossbody to the outside. The agility of Carmelo Hayes, one of the best of them here on Monday Night Raw. Carmelo could be going for the count out victory here. Lashley down on the outside. Wait a minute, Carmelo Hayes has got his eyes locked in the almighty and takes things to the sky again. Carmelo understands the matter at hand. He knows it is not going to be an easy victory tonight if he can get the one up over Bobby Lashley. Throwing everything at the almighty, seeing what sticks, and trying to keep Lashley down. And now back to the top rope. Melo not afraid to throw caution in the wind and a beautiful arm drag with a little bit of emphasis on it from the top. Bobby Lashley is stuck between a rock and a hard place right now. I don't know if he didn't expect this kind of energy, this kind of enthusiasm out of Carmelo Hayes or if he's simply just caught off guard in this matchup. Obviously the numbers game not in Bobby Lashley's favor as well. Got to keep your eye on Trick Williams and MVP at ringside. But Bobby Lashley's got to shake the cobwebs off, and he's got to get back into this match. Inside of the ring, and Carmelo now on his tail. Melo double knees to the almighty. Into the cover. Oh, and wait a minute here. Melo. Melo's got the foot on the rope. Melo's got the foot on the rope, and he just stole the victory over Bobby Lashley. You have got to be kidding. Carmelo Hayes with the biggest win early on in the match of his Monday Night Raw career, but it's not coming without an asterisk. Here is your winner, Carmelo Hayes. Carmelo Hayes took Bobby Lashley off his guard, no doubt about it, but the feet on the ropes did not help Lashley's cause. In my eyes, Bobby Lashley just got screwed by a misstep by the referee and by the tactics of the superstar of tomorrow. Over the last three weeks, 16 men have competed in the 2023 Cruiserweight Classic. As you see, the names that have advanced to the quarterfinals thus far, but who is going to be next to join them this Saturday afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern Time? It's going to be the Irish ace, J.D. McDonough, going one-on-one -on -one with Prince Pretty Tyler Breeze in the midst of the first round of the CWC. And also coming your way this Saturday afternoon, it is Monday Night Raw's former Intercontinental Champion and the Invincible Ilya Dragunov battling SmackDown's Axiom one-on-one. -on -one. The Cruiserweight Classic first round concludes this Saturday afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern Time Live. Nowhere else but Hammerstein Ballroom in Manhattan, New York. And here comes a man who knows all about the CWC and Cedric Alexander. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Charlotte, North Carolina. Weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric Alexander. We want to take you back to three weeks ago. It was the final Monday Night Raw before SummerSlam. And as Alexander was heading into his matchup with LA Knight at the biggest party of the summer, his momentum got derailed in a tag team affair against Kevin Owens and the man who just hit him with that haluva kick in the replay, Sami Zayn. Cedric Alexander obviously takes the loss on his chin. He's going to get up. He's going to keep fighting, but he's looking to even the score with Sami Zayn tonight as Sami Zayn has been making a case 
to become the next number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. First starting with that victory over Cedric Alexander, another win tonight could easily put Zayn at the top of the line to fight LA Knight next in line. And his opponent from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sammy Zayn. Well, Sammy Zayn walking out here alone tonight as his best friend Kevin Owens has not been seen since the biggest party of the summer summer slam as he was well let's just say it got his ass kicked by the beast ink torn of brock lesnar in the no holds barred match kevin owens will be back sooner rather than later but tonight Sami Zayn goes it alone and he's looking to go two for two against cedric alexander again you guys saw the replay of what happened in las vegas three weeks ago it was cedric alexander and shelton benjamin versus Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens right here on Raw. Sami Zayn pinning Cedric, derailing his momentum on the road to SummerSlam. Did that play a factor in Cedric Alexander's my mindset in Levi Stadium, ultimately failing to win the Intercontinental Championship? No real way to see, but tonight Cedric Alexander could put it all behind him and possibly find himself with another opportunity for the Intercontinental title against LA Knight. All remains to be seen, but Sami Zayn trying to go two for two, as we mentioned. A beautiful maneuver there on Alexander. Credit where it's due, Sami Zayn bringing the offense to the squared circle tonight. Saw the Intercontinental Champion LA Knight in action just seven nights ago. Big time victory over Shelton Benjamin. Somebody Cedric Alexander knows very well. Now LA Knight awaits his next challenger. Who is going to meet him inside the squared circle a week from Sunday in Chicago at the Raw exclusive Unforgiven event? All remains to be seen, but right now Sami Zayn looking to continue the onslaught on Cedric Alexander. Well, Alexander having none of it. Not afraid to brawl if need be with the great liberator of Monday Night Raw, Sami Zayn. Big time clothesline. I don't know if he got all of it there, but it was enough to knock Sami Zayn off the sole of his boots. Still to come tonight here in the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. One half of the brawl, or I should say one third of the brawling brutes and the bruiserweight Butch will take on the WWE Champion Seth Rollins. And how much writing is on that matchup? With what's coming up at Unforgiven, the Brawling Brutes set to take on the Judgment Day for the WWE World Tag Team Championships. And of course, in the main event of Chicago, as we found out earlier in the week, as Cedric Alexander takes things to the air, coming up a week from Sunday, it is going to be Sheamus versus Seth Rollins for the WWE Championship at Unforgiven. Let's focus on the action at hand because things are heating up inside the squared circle. Cedric Alexander taking things to the sky as he's most comfortable doing. And face first goes Zayn off the canvas, but it's only a one count. Cedric Alexander eager for victory tonight here in the Prudential Center. It's Sami Zayn. As we mentioned, looking to go two for two. Blue Thunder Bomb on Cedric Alexander, and that may do it, but not even a one count there as Alexander felt the, felt the urgency of the situation, excuse me, and was able to pop the shoulders off the canvas before the referee could even count the one. Man, great night of action thus far here on Monday Night Raw. Still can't believe Carmelo Hayes snuck away with the victory over the almighty Bobby Lashley. Not that he doesn't have the talent to do it, but he took an underhanded tactic in the process of doing so. We're ready to run that back in the near future. I'm sure the almighty is living backstage right now. Nonetheless, Cedric Alexander avoided what looked to be a Big boot, possibly a Huluva kick strike by Zayn. And now Alexander into the bridge on the Great Liberator, not just yet. Got the two, though. One step closer to victory is Cedric Alexander. Sami Zayn struggling to get back into this matchup as Alexander starting to get the locomotive rolling. Zayn using the ropes just trying to get to his feet as Cedric Alexander waiting in an opportune state. Newark, New Jersey behind him. Prudential Center is loud, proud, and excited about the action tonight. On the road to the Monday Night Raw Unforgiven event, and Cedric Alexander may have got caught as Sami Zayn may have been lying in wait and takes Alexander off the ropes. And a drop kick for good measures. I'm sure the Intercontinental Champion LA Knight has heard Everybody talking about how this matchup could easily put somebody 
in line for the Intercontinental title. I'm sure he's got his eyes locked on this battle between Cedric Alexander and Sami Zayn somewhere here in the Prudential Center as Alexander takes Zayn off his feet. Beautiful maneuver off Brett's rope. And now locking up Zayn. Going for the Brain Buster. And Cedric into the cover. Will that do it? And it is. Big time victory for Cedric Alexander here on Monday Night Raw. Well, the situation only continues to get more interesting. Sami Zayn pinned Alexander three weeks ago in Las Vegas. Tonight in Newark, it's Alexander with the victory over Sami Zayn here on Monday Night Raw. What is going to be next for these two men? Who is going to be the man to step up and fight LA Knight for the Intercontinental Championship a week from Sunday? Here is your winner, Cedric Alexander. Well, both men certainly making a case to become number one contender, but I'm sure Cedric Alexander is eager to run things back after coming up short at SummerSlam. Will Cedric Alexander get a second chance at glory come Unforgiven in Chicago? We want to take you back to two weeks ago here on Monday Night Raw, a long-awaited rematch between the Blackheart Tommaso Ciampa and the street champ Solo Sokoa. And Ciampa was fired up coming into this one after Solo tried to end his career about a month and change ago here in the red brand. But unfortunately, injury stacking up, Solo Sokoa inflicting punishment on Tommaso Ciampa and ultimately was too much to handle for the Blackheart. The street champ leaving with the victory two weeks ago on the red brand. But Tommaso Ciampa took to X earlier today and had this to say. No more sneak attacks. No more fighting injured. Solo, you wanted a battle. I will give you a war. Fight me in Unforgiven. I dare you to finish what you started. Tommaso Ciampa is fired up. He's throwing out the gauntlet. They are one win apiece. And things are only getting more personal. Escalating to a completely different level. Will Sol Sako accept the challenge and fight Tommaso Ciampa a week from Sunday? remains to be seen but Tommaso Ciampa wants more of the street champ things have gotten very personal between those two men Sol Sokoa has left Ciampa laying time and time again with a kendo stick and then up the ante to possibly the biggest way he could sending Ciampa off that ledge through the spotlight in the backstage area about a month ago here on Monday Night Raw Nonetheless, Tommaso Ciampa, there's one thing we know about him. He's going to keep fighting until he hears a bell. And that continues here tonight in Newark as he's set for action against The Miz. And his opponent from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa. You got to wonder what the condition is of Tommaso Ciampa. As we mentioned a month ago, with that fall through the spotlight, the glass, the electricity surrounding the soul of the Blackheart. And then two weeks ago, a brutal fight with Solo Sokoa here on Monday Night Raw. Ciampa back in action tonight. Set to go one-on-one -on -one with a man who is absolutely desperate for victory in the Miz. Remains to be seen what is going to happen here. Nonetheless, we are set for the Miz versus Sol, or excuse me, for I guess Tommaso Ciampa here on Monday Night Raw. Tommaso Ciampa itching for that matchup versus Sol Sokoa a week from Sunday at Unforgiven. Amazing to be seen if Sol is going to accept that challenge or if he feels Tommaso Ciampa has been put behind him after that victory two weeks ago. Remember, it all started in a Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. Tommaso Ciampa defeated Sol Sokoa back in June. Sol Sokoa did not take kindly to that. Especially, he felt insulted that not only did Ciampa take away his spot, but he didn't even win the Money in the Bank briefcase. All that led to sneak attacks time and time again. And we finally got that rematch two weeks ago when Sol Sokoa just absolutely tearing Ciampa apart in the back half of that matchup and ultimately getting the victory. Ciampa's fired up, he is focused, he wants another round with the street champ. Right now, you gotta look at the A-list superstar, The Miz, who has not gotten a victory in months here on Monday Night Raw. Of course, The Miz was a part of the SummerSlam event. He fell to the late, great Bray Wyatt. But now The Miz is back in action tonight and looking to get the victory over the Blackheart Tommaso Ciampa. Nice neck breaker there. Miz has had a decorated career in the WWE. At, at, at any point, is able to turn it around, has got all the tools to do so, but... 
I don't know, something is plaguing the Miz. Something is in the mindset of that man. And just ultimately, maybe he just doesn't have it against some of these opponents he's getting matched up with. Regardless of the specifics, the Miz has not gotten his hand raised in quite some time. As we always talk about, each and every time you enter the squared circle, a chance to change your momentum. And that is what the Miz is looking to do tonight. Big time DDT to the black card of Monday Night Raw. And it's only a one count there. Tommaso Ciampa as tough as they come. As we said, as he was walking down the aisle, he is going to keep fighting until he hears a bell. And that includes this matchup against the A-list superstar of the WWE. Big time knee. Right to the chest cavity of The Miz. Now Ciampa going to continue his pursuit. Look at the strength by Ciampa. Look at this. Muscling up The Miz high in the sky here in the Prudential Center tonight. And down goes The Miz, dead center of the canvas. And Ciampa not done just yet. Going for this swing out neck breaker. Face first goes The Miz. Will that do it? Oh, and The Miz gets the shoulder up. Not just yet, Tommaso Ciampa going to have to add a little bit more fuel to the fire in order to get that three count. Can't count out The Miz, though. Decorated champion throughout his career. He has held the Intercontinental title, United States Championship, Tag Team Gold, Mr. Money in the Bank, former WWE champion. He has main evented WrestleMania. The Miz has done it all. But can he turn his momentum around tonight against Tommaso Ciampa? That is the question at hand. Off the counter there as Ciampa tries to send him to the outside. Now Ciampa grabs a hold of the Miz and sends him into the corner and a knee that might have caught the Miz right on the jaw. Tell you what, Tommaso Ciampa, not that he's not usually fired up, but there's just a, a fire surrounding every strike. In Tommaso Ciampa tonight, a fury, if you will. Ciampa may feel like he's like he's talking to Solo Sokoa, like he's sending a message to Solo, saying, watch this, and if you accept the challenge, this is what awaits you a week from Sunday in Chicago at Unforgiven. Oh, it remains to be seen if the street champ is going to accept that challenge. Oh, it remains to be seen if Ciampa's going to be able to get the victory tonight over The Miz, or if The Miz... He's going to pick up that win and really change the tides of his momentum here on Monday nights. Sent to the outside goes The Miz. And nice counter there. We saw that a few moments ago. He wasn't able to capitalize. And again, it does not work out for The Miz. And Ciampa with the guillotine on the A-list superstar. The Miz is trapped in this stranglehold. And we hear a tap out. That is it. Tommaso Ciampa reaching deep down in the bag of tricks. And getting the victory tonight over The Miz. The Miz got caught. Tommaso Ciampa really inflicted a lot of punishment throughout this matchup. Not so much for the A-list superstar. Ultimately, Ciampa wrapping him in that guillotine. And that's going to be a victory. Oh, wait a minute. Cut, cut back to the ring. Solo Sokoa. Solo Sokoa is in the ring. Solo ambushing Ciampa during the replay. And the street champ has absolute. Oh, wait a minute. Champa's, Champa's down, Soul's at ringside, and he's got a table. Oh, this is not good. We saw the kendo stick attack weeks ago. We saw Solo send Champa through the spotlight. But Solo Sokoa has got his mind set on absolutely eliminating Tommaso Champa from competition here on Monday Night Raw. The table set up in the ring, Champa with the black horn in hand. Down goes Champa through the table by hands of the street champ, Solo Sokoa. I think Solo Sokoa just accepted the challenge of Tommaso Ciampa. The rubber match, in my eyes, is on. Solo and Ciampa, we're gonna have to wait for confirmation, but that was certainly a message sent by the street champ. Coming up a week from Sunday, it is the Raw exclusive live event. 
Unforgiven from the Allstate Arena in Chicago, Illinois. And what a match card coming together thus far. The WWE World Tag Team titles set to be defended by Damian Priest and Finn Balor of the Judgment Day. And the number one contenders opposing them, Ridge Holland, the Bruiserweight Butch, the Brawling Brutes looking to win all the gold in Chicago. And just signed, it is a triple threat match for the Intercontinental Championship. LA Knight puts the title up against Cedric Alexander and Sami Zayn, who is gonna leave Chicago, the one true Intercontinental Champion. It is a rematch that Becky Lynch has been waiting for since WrestleMania earlier this year, championship or not. Bragging rights are certainly on the line between the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, and the man, Becky Lynch. It is gonna be a grudge to be settled inside the steel cage when the stallion, the original bro, Matt Riddle meets the alpha male, the beast incarnate, Brock Lesnar. These two men are gonna tear each other apart inside the confines of the cage. And in the main event for the WWE Championship, the Celtic warrior Sheamus has revenge on his mind. Seth Rollins put him on the shelf back in June, but now Sheamus has an opportunity to also become the WWE Champion. It's Rollins and Sheamus at Unforgiven. And coming your way next week from Philadelphia on Monday Night Raw, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka in action one-on-one -on -one against Liv Morgan. So much history between those two women. They fight again next week on the Red Brand. And in next week's main event, one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Damian Priest, battles the number one contender for the WWE title, the Celtic Warrior Sheamus, the Brawling Brutes, Judgment Day, Seth Rollins. A lot of history between those two, between those six men, excuse me, those two sides. And that history continues to be played out tonight, next week, Unforgiven. A lot of story to be told as we get set for your main event tonight in the Prudential Center, Newark, New Jersey. The WWE Champion, Seth freaking Rollins, is in live and in living color. Rollins hot off a victory against Kofi Kingston last week and of course winning that title back at SummerSlam. But Ken Rollins' momentum continued tonight against the Bruiserweight Butch of the Brawling Brutes. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the WWE Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins! Well, of course, Seth Rollins set to challenge Sheamus one-on-one -on -one for the WWE title at Unforgiven, but tonight he gets an early preview against one third of the Brawling Brutes and Butch. And we said moments ago, so much history between the Brawling Brutes, Seth Rollins and Judgment Day, which really leads to a very interesting situation heading in to Unforgiven as all their past cross again. But remember what happened back in May at Vengeance, an amazing possible, one of the matches of the year, six man tag, where the Brawling Brutes defeated Sheamus and the Judgment, or excuse me, Seth Rollins and the Judgment Day at Vengeance all those months ago. But tonight, it's Butch and Rollins one-on-one. -on -one. And his opponent, representing the Brawling Brutes from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, Butch! Well, the Bruiserweight looking to do one good for his partner, if you will, in the Celtic Warrior. Sheamus built some momentum for the Brawling Brutes heading into all their championship matches coming up a week from Sunday in Chicago. I remember just two weeks back, the Brawling Brutes, Butch and Ridge, the Fridge, Holland, defeating Tyler Bate and Ilya Drago off the matchup that really put them over the top to become number one contenders to Finn Balor and Damian Priest in their World Tag Team titles. These two teams have meant before. I remember months ago, it was the Judgment Day defeating the Brawling Brutes here on Monday Night Raw, which originally got them the number one contendership to eventually win those World Team World Tag Team titles back in June at the King of the Ring. One that I roll, these six men have been at the forefront for months. And all again, once the, once again, all their past cross a week from Sunday at Unforgiven. I'm so excited to get to Chicago. We can't even get the words out. But here tonight on Monday Night Raw, it is the Brawling Brutes Butch taking on the WWE Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins. This should be an extraordinary matchup as the bell sounds and we are underway. An awesome night of action thus far 
as we head into Philadelphia next week for the final Monday Night Raw before we get to Chicago on the 17th for the Raw exclusive live premiere event, 5 p.m. Eastern time for Unforgiven. So far, so good. Butch coming out swinging, taking the WWE Champion off his feet. And Rollins just seven nights ago here on Monday Night Raw, very physical back and forth matchup against the New Day's Kofi Kingston. And I think Kofi reminded a lot of people just what he is capable of inside the squared circle. Nearly had the WWE Champion beat on numerous occasions. Seth Rollins ultimately picking up the victory, surviving Kofi Kingston, but the momentum still on the side of Rollins. You remember what happened last week as well. After that matchup, Sheamus dropped Rollins with a bro kick. Not one, but twice. And it was later in the night, Sheamus defeating Sol Sokoa last week. And after that matchup, Seth Rollins hitting the ring and laying out Sheamus with not one, but two curb stomps. A lot of bad blood between those two men, but something's got to give, and only one man can be the better man, can leave with the bragging rights and be the WWE Champion. We will find out who that's going to be a week from Sunday at Unforgiven. Things going to be taken to the outside of the ring as Seth Rollins has got Butch in his grasp here. Down goes Butch at ringside as Rollins cradled him up and used all of his weight to shift the momentum to the punishment of Butch. Rollins understands a victory tonight can derail the momentum for all of the brawling brutes heading into these championship matches at Unforgiven. But there's a chance that when the night comes to a close on the 17th and we leave Chicago, Illinois, that the brawling brutes is all holding gold here on Monday Night Raw. As Butch comes off the apron with that awesome knee to the cranium of the WWE Champion. We could very well be seeing a Monday Night Raw in the near future as Butch and Ridge Holland wearing the World Tag Team titles and Sheamus wearing the WWE Championship. All remains to be seen, Seth Rollins back inside the ring. Getting Butch off balance there, now comes from behind, sending them into the ropes. Rollins take down, and a kick right to the chest, and remember that's the same maneuver that defeated Sheamus back in their one-on-one -on -one meeting in the first round of the King of the Ring several months ago. The night Seth Rollins put Sheamus on the shelf nearly all summer long. Down goes Butch, just getting sent inside out as the former two-time Intercontinental Champion. WWE Champion, the man who cashed in his Money in the Bank briefcase successfully at SummerSlam, Seth freaking Rollins, now looks to pick the bones of the Bruiserweight. Something we are used to seeing Let's do inside of that ring. Really pick his opponent apart limb by limb, but tonight it's Rollins with the upper hand, at least for the moment, and the rip toward knee is gonna spell disaster for Butch as this matchup progresses. Two extraordinary athletes here on Monday Night Raw, especially Butch, a man who has been a mainstay here in the red brand and one of the faces of Monday Night Raw for upwards of a year. As we just mentioned a few moments ago, former two-time Intercontinental Champion, now alongside with the Brawling Brutes, could be on his way to holding the World Tag Team titles, but Rollins looking to derail the momentum off the frog splash, but Butch survives. You want as much momentum as you can get heading into Unforgiven. You don't want to go in heading with those losses. Tonight, all of that rides on the line. Rollins not able to put Butch away off a great series of maneuvers. We saw that Discord knee a few moments ago. The Frog Splash, not enough to put Butch away, but there's the small package. The Bruiserweight looking to steal the victory, no! Butch almost had him. Almost took down Rollins there. And sending him for a ride off the monkey flip, just trying to create some distance between himself and the WWE Champion. And now sending Rollins into the corner. And Butch keeping it simple keeping it effective and keeping it dangerous as he always does. And the boot scrape! And Seth Rollins is gonna be feeling that one on Tuesday morning. Could be a huge upset tonight and a huge win when it comes to the Brawling Brutes locker room. If Butch can defeat the WWE Champion, it's Seth freaking Rollins tonight. You know that's gonna have the Celtic Warrior Sheamus grinning from ear to ear as things head to the top rope. And a superplex to Rollins! Butch could be nearing a huge win here in the Prudential Center. 
And Rollins gets the kick out. Newark, New Jersey coming unglued. This is awesome in your main event between the WWE Champion Seth Rollins and one half of the number one contenders to the world tag team titles. And Butch, down goes Rollins. Butch gonna pick up the victory. Here we go. Not just yet as Rollins gets the shoulder up and how close was that? Rollins survives. All that offense of the Bruiser. Oh, wait a minute. Rollins using Butch's own maneuver. The bitter end against him. And Butch survives. The Rollins forcing to get creative there. Hitting Butch with his own damn move. It wasn't enough. But now Rollins going to the well with his most dangerous maneuver. A curb stop to the Bruiser weight. And that is going to do it. An awesome effort by one half of the number one contenders to the World Tag Team titles and Butch. But tonight, the WWE Champion, Seth freaking Rollins, momentum continues. And it is not going to be an easy day at work for the Celtic Warrior a week from Sunday in Chicago at Unforgiven. Hell of a main event tonight on Raw. Here is your winner, Seth. Rollins continues to pick up a victory after a victory, but will that be the same sight a week from Sunday in the middle of Allstate Arena in Chicago when it's Seth Rollins versus Sheamus one-on-one -on -one once and for all for the WWE Championship? Thank you for joining us tonight in Newark. We'll see you next week live from Philadelphia. Pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rider.